happy spring, happy day, whenever you are viewing today's video. If you are new here, welcome to the vlog. I am happy to have you here and I would love for you to subscribe to the channel. It's free y'all. It doesn't cost you one cent. It is free. All you have to do is push that button. Anywho y'all, as you can see, See, we have made it back from California. Oh my gosh, y'all. We had a really, really good time. And no, I did not get to meet Daniel, which I am so, so sad. But I know that I will meet Daniel in the future, y'all. I know it. Uh, the baby was on the beach, but he wasn't able to get into the water so uh, we want to take him back to the beach uh, this summer and my daughter has been wanting me to go to San Diego they keep saying mommy you're gonna love San Diego you're gonna love San Diego so maybe we will make it to San Diego for the summer or we're gonna take the baby to the beach somewhere y'all and maybe one day uh, Daniel will come here to Texas and we will meet up but we didn't this time, and I'm just really, really sad about it. Anywho, we are back to it, y'all. I want to do some spring decorating today. Uh, the house is still full of Valentine's Day decor, and I want to spring it up in here. <laughs> so that is what we are going to be doing today. And I mainly want to concentrate on my peg shelf my entryway table and I'm gonna do a little bit of something something in here um, yeah I have my bookshelves to where I want them to stay and I just want to add little you know little touches of spring on the bookshelves and I just want to add just little touches for the holidays I don't want to change it around too much because I love it the way it is so we will be doing that. And as far as the hutch, I'm not gonna be doing the hutch today because I wanna make some changes to the hutch. So we won't be seeing that today. Uh, we'll be seeing that in a, another video, y'all. So yeah, this is just the get into it type of spring video. Y'all know I don't do much around my home. Um, so yeah, pretty much what we are going to be doing today is pretty much what I'll do <laughs> for spring around. <laughs> Anyhow, y'all know I'm a hot man. <laughs> Anyhow, if you are interested in seeing today's video, then please keep watching. <laughs> Starting off in the living room, we are going to be decorating the console table. So I have already cleaned off everything, you guys. And I do have this inspiration photo right here from Studio McGee that I was heavily inspired by. And I'm going to try to recreate that table here today. <laughs> now, y'all know I don't have all the exact same names, but we're going to try. Uh, they had a basket on the uh, side over here. I don't have that basket, y'all. I don't have it. So I went ahead and put my olive jar. And as for the photo, I need that photo that Daniel got at his Goodwill in his last video, y'all, um, from Target. I need that photo, but um, I don't have it. So I went ahead and placed um, this photo that you guys are seeing right now <laughs> uh, of all of my little jars that I love. I went ahead and put that there. And now I'm just placing in these books. Now, I don't have four books, y'all. I only have three books. Y'all, do you guys see this little basket? Is that not the cutest thing? Okay, y'all. I just, I had to get that. That basket is from Hobby Lobby. And I just thought it was adorable. But back to the books. I only have three books. And I know I'm will probably find another one i was trying to get four but i couldn't find another one now as soon as this video posts i'm pretty sure i'll find another one 
Here is a little rabbit that I have had for many years now. I love it so much and I don't think I will ever give that rabbit away. It was from Marshalls a long time ago. It was $12.99. And here I am trying to decide where I want to place this bowl. They had a glass vase over here uh, with some flowers in it. And I was going to put my tulips there, y'all, but I couldn't find my tulips. So, yeah. Here is my finished table. Y'all, I thought we were finished, but I did, I forgot I did add in this little bunny pillow uh, in the basket. And I have had that pillow for years as well. So here is a final look at the table, y'all. <laughs> Moving on to the pig shelf, I added in some terracotta pots, some greenery in a terracotta pot. I added in these bunnies for some fun and whimsical touches. I added in the mushrooms. I just added in all types of textures uh, just to make it uh, fun and springy, y'all. <laughs> uh, most of these things I have had, again, for years. I am trying to not have to buy new things, y'all. But here is a final look at the pink shelf. Again, I want to apologize, y'all, for these dark clips. I didn't realize the ND filter was on my camera until it was too late. But I figured it out, and here is the bookshelves. Now, the only thing I did was switched out the bunnies for the um, Valentine's Day decor, and I get, didn't get to finish sharing this with y'all the last time. As you all, as you all can see, I added photos of my little tiger, and I love them. And I love the personal touch instead of always adding in um, art that you buy from the store. I wanted to put some family photos on the bookshelf and I think they turned out great. Here I am just adding in a cute little blanket with a bunny in my basket, y'all. Y'all know I love this basket so much. I love the texture and just the whole look of the basket. change much in here y'all i'm sticking with my blues for spring this year i did take that blanket from here and put it in the basket i just didn't like it over here and then i just added in this bunny pillow right here y'all and that was right, it y'all that is going to be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed some of the spring touches that i put around the house today i think everything turned out really really cute Y'all know I enjoy doing these type of videos and I hope you enjoy them as well. Now, before we get out of here, y'all, I did not pick up a lot of uh, souvenirs in California or at Disney, but I did pick up this one thing because I wanted at least one thing. So I picked up this spirit jersey that says Disneyland Resort on the back. And then it just has the little Disney D emblem on the front. Front. but like I said this is a spirit jersey and you guys I did not want black okay I wanted something springy and colorful and pink and pretty or just any other color but black 
but they did not have very many of this type of shirt that uh in the colors they they only have like specific things they had like a peach with a gold and i didn't want the peach and gold and then they had a big um they had the big capsule in the front so i didn't want that and they had different ones but they they were just not my uh style i wanted something a little bit more on the plainer side and then y'all i'm watching tiktok the next a couple of days or something you know after we made it home and then uh you know on tiktok people love disney and there are so many um channels that share disney videos but there's this one lady that pops up on my feed and she went into the same store that i bought this shirt from okay and they had a brand new shirt out there baby blue florals i was like i couldn't i I text my daughter, I said, do you see this shirt right here? I was so mad, y'all. I would have got that shirt in a heartbeat. Y'all know I love blue. That's my favorite color. But anyway. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching today's video. And as always, I hope you're having a great day, great week, whenever you are viewing today's video. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all. <laughs>